Conspiracy Funhouse Pictures presents a modern audio adaption of a classic story. Class Warfare Over the Rainbow, adapted for audio by getting mildly intoxicated and bitching about things that piss us off. Meet Dorothy. Well, hello there. A good Christian girl who lives a mundane life in a small rural Kansas town with her dog, Toto. Toto, here Toto, come here boy, here Toto. No, not you, the dog. Aww, they never want to listen to us. Toto. Hey Toto, how you doing? How would you like to make my boring life more interesting? Great, let's go behind the barn and lick toads. Later that afternoon. Gosh, Toto, I'm so bored here in this crappy little town. I wish we can go someplace far away and go on an adventure. What? Over the rainbow? That sounds ridiculous. I was thinking maybe we can go to Washington so a vampire and a werewolf can fight over who gets my hoo-ha. Look, Toto, there's a big storm coming. We should probably get back to the house. Come on, hurry, hurry. Oh my, Toto, look at that big tornado. Well, of course it's not here because of global warming. Everyone knows global warming doesn't exist. It's probably here because God is mad at gays and the liberal agenda. <laughs> Toto, the, the tornado's coming right towards the house. Hold on. Jumping, Jesus, fuck, I think I just shit my pants. Toto, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay too, but I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Mm -hmm. It looks like our house has landed in the middle of a, an industrial sweatshop. And we're not alone either. Look at all those little people. <laughs> Excuse me, little people, who are you? We're called the Workins because we work all day and night. Who are you? Why, I'm Dorothy from Kansas. I've heard of Kansas. You have? Yeah. Dust in the wind. All we are is dusty in the wind. Ow! Enough of your singing. What do you workings do? We spend all of our lives working at this factory. We don't have time to spend with our family or friends, and we still barely earn enough to pay our bills. Well, that sounds horrible. It wasn't always like this. There was a time not so long ago when one working put it in 40 hours a week, made enough to support a family of five, with a home, a car, health care, even a yearly vacation. Well, that sounds like a good life. What happened to that? The Wicked Witch of the Wealthy. Who? The Wicked, Wicked Witch of the Wealthy. Wealthy! She tricked us. She promised us that if we removed the restrictions on business and accounting practices, the companies would make a lot more money, and that money will trickle down to us workings. And the deregulation plan didn't work? Oh no. Deregulation did allow companies to make more money, but the Wicked Witch and her CEO friends gave themselves ridiculous raises and bonuses, and none of that money trickled down past the executive level. Instead, the workin's pay has been slowly dropping. Those scoundrels. That's not just greedy, that's downright dishonest. But that still wasn't enough for the Wicked Witch and her friends. They began moving the good-paying jobs to other lands, where labor is cheaper. <gasps> they were outsourcing your jobs to other lands? Like poor land, and dirt land, and slave land, and teenage wasteland. Ow! forcing us workings to compete against each other for the jobs left behind, which were more work for less pay, less benefits, and less job security. I agree, Toto. It totally sounds like they purposely turned back the working conditions to sweatshop times, like class warfare. Oh, don't say that word. What, class warfare? There it is again. Don't say it. But that's what it is. She can sense when people say that word, and it makes her angry. Who can sense when I say that word? Wicked Witch of the Wealthy! <laughs> oh my! Here she comes now on her broomstick. Back to your stations, everyone! <laughs> What's going on here? Has someone been making false accusations about class war? Hmm. Maybe someone doesn't appreciate the job I so generously gave them. Was it you? Or you? Or maybe you? You know, I have a whole stack of applications from desperate workings who would do your job for a dollar less. So was it you? Or maybe you? You leave them alone. It was me. You? You're a little tall to be a working, 
No matter. You're fired. Get out. But I don't work. Shut up. It's no good begging. I won't change my mind. <laughs> and if any more of you ungrateful workings want to complain about class warfare, then you can just get out too and go live in a cardboard box in the park. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to figuring out a way to cheat on my taxes. So back to work. <laughs> uh, wait, was that her magical poof of smoke exit, or did she just explode right in front of us? I mean, I I've heard about people holding their farts in for too long, and just a spark would detonate. Oh my god, the smell. Oh, it smells like King Kong's colostomy bag. Or rancid dog meat. <laughs> oh, sorry, Toto. <laughs> what a horrible person. I've got to find a way to help you poor workings, but I don't know what to do. Maybe you can ask the wizard for help. Who's the wizard? He's the smartest man in all the land. He talks to us on these magical picture boxes we all have in our living rooms. Oh, you mean like televisions? Televisions? Okay. But he tells us everything we need to know, like where to shop, what to buy, what to eat, what to wear, what to think. He's the only source of information we have. Where can I find him? He broadcasts from the green city of Mediaville. Is it green because they're so jealous? No, it's green because of how much money they have. Oh, then how do I find Mediaville? To find Mediaville, just follow the TV cable lines on the telephone poles. Cable? Don't you have satellite TV? What's satellite TV? No satellite television. I really need to help you guys. Come on, Toto. Let's go. Ruff, 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 ruff. We'll see you working soon. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. She doesn't stand a fucking chance. Two. And so Dorothy left working land, following the telephone poles, across once lush meadows now scorched by drought, searching for the wizard city of Mediaville, when suddenly... Oh. Look, Toto, there's a scarecrow sitting by the side of the road crying. Oh. Pardon me, Mr. Scarecrow, what's wrong? Oh, my life has fallen to pieces. First, I lost my job when they moved our factory to another land, and then they cut my unemployment benefits, so I lost my house. And now the witch's flying monkey patrol has kicked me out of the park. I'm hungry, I got no place to go, and my straw stuffing is getting all dried out from the heat. Oh, hey there. No, it's straw. No, not your stuffing. I mean, hey there, you, you sure seem like you're down on your luck. Like a, like a victim of the political system. Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't care about politics. Well, maybe you should, considering how they've affected your life. But politics don't affect me. It's so boring and complicated. Not like sports. Now that's what I love. Cheering on my favorite football team or watching the NASCARs go round in a circle. That's what's important to me. Well, I hate to tell you, but sports is just entertainment. What do you mean? I mean, the outcome of a sporting event doesn't affect your life. Sure it does. It makes me feel happy. But the outcome of a sports game won't allow your boss to move your factory, or cut your unemployment, or kick you out of the park. That's all politics. Well, then I wish I had a brain to understand politics, but I don't. I don't got no brain at all. Tell you what, my name is Dorothy and this is my dog Toto, and we're on our way to Mediaville to see the wizard. Maybe you can come with us and ask for a brain. You think that'll work? It doesn't hurt to try. Sweet. Come on, let's get our butts moving. And what a nice butt you do have. Hey, no, it's straw. Further on down the road. Look, Scarecrow, there's an apple orchard. You said you were hungry. Oh boy, am I. Well, let's go. All right. Gosh. There are so many apples here, they've started to rot. It seems like such a waste. Maybe we can take some apples with us to give to people we meet. Wait, Dorothy. Did you hear that? Hear what? Listen. It's coming from over there behind that bush. Oh my. It's a rusty old robot. And he's, he's trying to speak. Hey, here's an oil can. Let's oil up his mouth and hear what he has to say. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's much better. Now, drop those apples. They're mine. Who are you? I am the owner of this orchard. And what's it to you, you slut? You vagrant? And you little rat creature? Dang, that's rude. We have names, you know. I'm Dorothy, this is Scarecrow, and that's Toto. Who are you? The conservative Tin Man. What's conservative mean? Why, conservatism is what makes this land great. It's free market corporate capitalism, as long as it's completely unregulated and tilted in our favor. It's a strong military that protects our nation by dropping bombs on people in other countries. It's Christian values like every man for himself, intolerance for people who are different, and knowing that helping the poor people only encourages their laziness. 
But most of all, it's about freedom, the freedom we all have as individuals, to choose for ourselves how to best serve the needs of the inherently superior rich straight white men. And now, if you will kindly pay me for those apples... Well, why should we pay you for a few apples? There are hundreds of apples out here just going to waste. You're not going to miss these few apples. Well, that's not the point. I own the orchard, so they all belong to me. But don't you know how to share? Well, it's funny you should ask that, because the last bunch of bums who came begging for free apples asked me the same thing, and I'll tell you what I told them. I see no reason to share. You don't get something for nothing. Oh, yeah? And what did they say? Well, actually, they threw a bucket of water on me and rusted me immobile. At least I think it was water. It could have been piss. Oh, it was definitely piss. And I've been stuck here ever since, helpless as people come by and steal my apples. Okay, well, I can see you're really hung up on this whole apple thing, so maybe I can help. I doubt it, but you can go ahead and try. You know, sometimes people give each other things without expecting anything in return. And why would they do that? Two reasons. One, it gives you a good feeling in your heart to know you help someone. Well, I don't have a heart, so I can't help you there. Sad. Yes, and so what's the other reason why I would help others? Well, because sometime you might need help. And because you help them, they will help you. Well, that's crazy. I don't need help from anyone. Really? Really. Now, if you'll finish oiling my joints, I can get back to patrolling my orchard. Oil your joints? Why would we do that? How? Oh, you see what she did there? She made you see that you need our help. And you're lucky, because I was just going to dump another bucket of piss on you. Now, Scarecrow, be nice. All right, Tin Man. I'll oil you up. But I'm not going to do it for the apples. I'll do it because it's the kind of thing that friends do for each other. Friends? I've never had any friends before. Probably because you act like an asshole. Hey! No, it's not hey, it's straw. No, he's right. It's because I don't have a heart. It's tough for me to care about anything but myself. Which, by the way, is another conservative trait. Hey, it's working! I can move now. Thank you, and I do apologize for being such a jerk. More of a douchebag. There's a very subtle distinction there. Anyway, uh, help yourself to as many apples as you like. Well, thank you. And by the way, we're going to Mediaville to see the wizard. Maybe you'd like to come with us and ask for a heart. Yes, that might work. I'll come with you. Great, let's go. And so our heroes continued on their journey until they came to a dark and scary forest. Whew. <sighs> Well, it sure is creepy in here. You know, people say dangerous things live in this forest. You mean like lions? Or tigers? Or bears? Worse. What could be worse than lions and tigers and bears? Liberals. <coughs> what is it, Toto? Look out, something's coming out of the forest. Arrgh. Hey, hey, ho, ho. You strangers there have got to go. Hey, hey. What ho, the hell is that? Looks like a lion's hey, hey. chanting at ho, us. Ho. You strangers well, how do we make him shut up? One, two, I'll try three, punching four. him in the you nose. Be here anymore. Five, six, seven, eight. Ow! What's the big idea? Why aren't you running away? Why should we run away? I was giving you my most powerful strangers go away chant, and it didn't work. Oh, the other animals in Peace and Justice Coalition were right. I'm a failure. Peace and Justice Coalition? You see, I told you, he's one of those dangerous liberals. Now, don't get too close, and whatever you do, don't sign any petition he gives you. Oh, nonsense. He looks harmless. What's your name? I'm the liberal lion, and I fight for peace and justice and equality for all. And when I say fight, I mean purely non-violent tactics only. Say, were you part of that Occupy the Witch's Castle protest? I sure was. For several months, hundreds of us camped around the Witch's Castle, assailing them every day with holding signs and singing and prayer circles and other passive performance art, just to let them know that we will no longer tolerate their corruption. Exciting. So did you eventually wear down the walls of the castle and arrest the criminals? Uh, no. For some reason, the castle walls held against our protesting. And the media covered us for a while, but uh, they mostly made fun of us. And as soon as the media left, the witch sent in her flying monkey patrols, and they pepper sprayed us, and beat us with clubs, and dragged us off to jail by our hair. They ransacked our encampment, and confiscated all of our justice-based macaroni art and hemp jewelry. It was a massacre. Good lord, man, why didn't you fight back? Like I said, we're pacifists. We don't want to hurt anybody. So these guys, 
are dousing you with chemicals and bashing your brains in with batons and you're worried about hurting them? We don't want to lower ourselves to their level with violence. I mean, we're not animals. Well, we are animals, but, you know, we're not animals. So what did you do? We retreated into this dark forest and we've been trying to figure out what to do next. Now, that's what I call a bunch of cowardly liberals. Now, that's not fair. At least they're genuinely trying to do something noble and positive, which takes guts. But it's their tactics that are totally unrealistic and ineffective. Unaffective? They're totally stupid. What are you thinking? Well, then what can we do to change things? Well, I don't know. But we're on our way to see the wizard. Maybe he can give you some ideas. Why, that sounds great! Um, that's a tiger. You're a lion. Get it right. Oh, sorry. All right, boys, saddle up. Next stop, the Wizard of Mediaville. And so Dorothy, Toto, and their new friends, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion, finally reached the green gates of Mediaville. The city guards escorted them to the great chamber to meet the wizard. Wow, I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, this place is huge. Don't be afraid. If the wizard is as wise as everyone says, then I know everything's going to be fine. Who dares disturb the great wizard while he's playing words with friends on Facebook? Um, I'm Dorothy, your honor, sir. And uh, these are my friends. And uh, we need your help. Of course you do. Everyone has problems. All right. One at a time. What you got? Go ahead, Scarecrow. You can go first. Uh, hello, your majesty. Uh... Scarecrow here, number one sports fan. Yes, it seems that there are a lot of number one sports fans. You see, being made of straw, I, I don't have a brain. And I was recently informed that if I did have a brain, that I could participate in the decisions that affect my life. So, can I... Scarecrow, you don't need a brain. What? In fact, intelligence is something that we are trying to breed out of people because it just makes them unhappy. You are much better off just watching sports and letting the experts decide what's best for you. Next. But I was hoping... I said next. Great wizard, I'm the conservative Tin Man, and I was hoping to get a heart so I can feel the joy of helping others. Tin Man, if I gave you a heart, you may feel the occasional joy of helping others, but you will also feel the constant sadness and despair of all the unfortunate people you can't help. Trust me, you're better off without it. Next. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. I am the liberal lion, and I want to know how to fight corruption and create a more fair and equal society through nonviolent methods. Lion, it's too late. The corruption and intolerance you fight is firmly entrenched in our system and growing more powerful every day. It's best to just accept what's going on and hope it doesn't get worse. Last one. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I'm here to help the workings who are tricked by the wicked witch of the wealthy into deregulating the business and accounting laws, and the witch now treats the workings as slaves as she becomes richer and richer. The workings are being punished for being too greedy. So you're saying the workings are the greedy ones? Yes, they all wanted the witch's wealth, but they didn't want to work for it. But all the workings do is work, and they can barely pay their bills. The witch is the greedy one. She's not sharing the wealth with the workins who helped produce that wealth. But Dorothy, without the witch's factory, the workins would have no jobs. And without the workins, the factory wouldn't produce anything. Surely they deserve to be treated fairly. No, the witch should be praised and treated as royalty. You want someone to blame? Blame each other. Tin Man, don't you see that the liberals are your enemy? Lion, it's people like Tin Man who beat you down. And Scarecrow... Well, the Scarecrow is just a lazy bum taking advantage of everyone's generosity. You should all fight with each other and leave the witch alone. Look, Toto's found something. Hey, whose dog is this? Get him out of here. He's pulling back a curtain, hiding a little man in a control room. No, ignore the man behind the curtain. Don't, don't look in there. Hey, you tricked us. You're controlling what the wizard says from this hidden booth. Oh, you've discovered my secret. There is no great wizard, it's just me. But all the people in the land listen to you on their TVs. Why would you lie to them? Well, you see, it's a long story. Someone's coming. <laughs> oh, wizard, it's me, the Wicked Witch of the Wealthy, back with another bag full of money, so you can control and manipulate the public opinion. Oh, I see you have company. Whoops. So, let me see if I got this right. 
the Wicked Witch of the Wealthy is paying the wizard to turn the common people against each other while she manipulates the system to make herself richer. That's diabolical. Scarecrow, you figured it out. You do have a brain. That's right, and if she would just pay the workings what they rightfully earned, then everyone could live comfortably, but she doesn't want to share, and that's not right. And Tin Man, you do have a heart. Well, wizard, it seems these hooligans have found us out. No matter, I'll just call in my flying monkeys to get rid of these pests. Flying monkeys! Oh no, now we're surrounded by flying monkeys. What are we gonna do? Stand back, friends. I'll handle this. Lion, what are you doing with those markers and cardboard? Making signs that say stop the violence. That ought to stop them. Well, fortunately, the Second Amendment still allows me to carry this. Well, what's that? This is called an Uzi. Watch this. Holy shit, Tin Man. You killed the monkeys. It was self-defense. You all saw it. I was just protecting you. Well, now, what are we going to do with this witch and this fake-ass wizard? Well, it just so happens that I have two bullets left. No! We just can't execute these two. Lion, when are you going to learn? All right, wh what do you suggest? Well, we arrest them, we give them a fair trial, and then we execute them. After all, we're not animals. I mean, we're animals, but we're not animals, you know. One fair trial later... Yay! The witch is dead! The witch is dead! As mayor of Working Land, I want to thank Dorothy and her friends for freeing us from the tyranny of the witch. Oh, you're welcome. But I'm just glad that a fair standard of living has returned. We are the champions, my friends. Ow! Well, I guess now I have to figure out a way to get back to Kansas. <laughs> What's that, Toto? <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> well, it is kind of a nice place. And we have lots of friends here. All right, we'll stay. Well, uh, what you doing, Tin Man? Cleaning my Uzi. Well, that's not loaded, right? Of course not. Gun safety is the most important. Oh my god, you just shot Dorothy. Oh, Dorothy, it was an accident. Speak to me. Tin Man, Lion, Scarecrow, I'm gonna miss you all. It's so cold. <laughs> Oh, Dorothy, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, Dorothy, wake up. Uncle Henry, Aunt Em, what happened? We found you and Toto passed out behind the barn. Were you licking toads again? Yes. Well, what did we tell you about licking toads? You said there were worse things that I could put in my mouth, but I went to a faraway place and had an adventure there, and you were there? And you were there? Oh, Dorothy, you just get some rest. You're home now. We'll take care of you. Thanks, Aunt Em. You're right. There really is no place like home. <laughs> <laughs>